Houston, Texas, 1998. A robbery takes place in the home of an Indian immigrant family. During the next two years, armed thieves break into the apartment four more times. At that point, not many would have imagined that within just two decades, the youngest among the victims, Swapnil Agarwal, would end up establishing a real estate empire of more than 15,000 apartments. I came here to America with my parents. Uh, we, our story was uh, very similar to like, any immigrant family story. We grew up in, you know, we got situated in a very, very lower uh, class apartment complex and crimes and security issues and um, they were daily occurrences. From Agra to Houston, Swapnil's journey to prosperity did not come that easy. In the USA, he had to face hardships at various stages. Uh, while growing up, while paying for my expenses, uh, I, uh, you know, I worked in a pizza shop. And working in a pizza shop, my job was to uh, deliver the, the flyers, the marketing, the advertising. And I used to go from one apartment complex to one other apartment complex and put the flyer on their door. And that's how I paid for my college. And I did that for eight years. Swapnil's brainchild, Nitya Capital, is a privately held real estate investment firm. Its primary focus is on the acquisition and management of opportunistic and value-added multifamily properties. Thank you for calling City West. This is Jessica. Can I help you? Yes, sir. Give me one moment. With assets worth more than 1.6 billion US dollars, the emergence of Swapnil's firm has baffled some of the most seasoned industry experts. Swapnil's eyes were able to see the business opportunity that was missed by many others. His company buys older, sometimes neglected apartment buildings, renovates them with a premium touch, and on top of that, provides many Class A property amenities. This results in longer term tenants, the creation of communities, and fewer repairs. On top of that, residents do not mind paying a little bit more for all the extra comfort, security, and amenities. Swapnil studied finance at the University of Texas, and at the age of 24, he had an opportunity to go to Hong Kong to work at a private equity fund. But somewhere deep down, he always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So I came back and I said, finally, after working for 10 years in corporate America, I want to start my own business. And I took a risk and my wife, Zipika, supported me a lot. She said, okay, take the risk. And we started, we bought a small apartment complex in Houston. That was in August, 2013. Since then, he has continued to add more and more strategic assets to his portfolio. Several prestigious business awards programs have taken notice of his sensational emergence. According to Swapnil, his dharmic upbringing has played a key role in his professional development. If, you're, if your dharma, if your moral grounds are for the betterment of the society, uh, your principles are good, and if your karmas, are, are, your actions are, are, are for the good uh, of, of everyone around you, uh, then, then, you know, then your chances of success are very high. So I kept those two things in my mind, and with those two things in mind, I decided to take this leap of faith uh, of starting my business. And my basic fundamental principle was that, look, if, if I give it my best try, if I'm honest to myself, if I'm passionate about doing what I'm doing, and my passion was to literally improve the living conditions of people who can least afford it. And that was my dharma. My dharma, my purpose of starting a business was not to make profit. I mean, that's, that's what I would say for everybody. Anything you do in life, your, your, your purpose should not be to make profit because making profit is the end result of what you do. Your purpose or your dharma needs to be something bigger. My dharma of when I started Karya Properties and Nitya Capital was 
to improve the living conditions to provide better living conditions to people who can least afford it for swapnil the priority is people not profits this is evident in the work that karya property management is doing karya property management is a sister company of nitya capital which looks after the day-to-day -day operations in the apartment communities 24-hour fitness free swimming lessons free health checkups free english classes free meals for kids during summer after school daycare facilities these amenities are making a difference in people's lives a law enforcement officer is present on site and maintenance related issues are handled within 48 hours in order to bring the best out of their hired staff they have established karya university where their own employees attend are trained gain credits and are promoted in the USA, firearms are the second leading cause of death in children. Drowning is another major concern with more than 10,000 child deaths in just a decade. With proper education, these deaths could be prevented. Swapnil's company is providing free water education classes for their residents. It has also donated thousands of clear backpacks to school children. Transparent backpacks are seen as one small aspect of a larger solution to gun violence at schools. Swapnil has created a perfect win-win model for his residents, investors and employees. But he is not alone in this. Did you see the pictures? I did, I did. I'm going to go this afternoon. I know, it is looking amazing. And today in the afternoon, if you go after that, you will see another surprise there, which is my first thing. Deepika has a significant involvement in this business. A simple middle-class upbringing in the state of Punjab in India was where it all began. Her marriage with Swapnil broadened her horizons. Deepika received her doctorate in biochemistry from the University of Hong Kong. Our company we built from our heart. It was not like, okay, yes, there was a brain behind it. Yes, there were calculations behind it. But all the values that we had in our company were all coming from our heart. We, from the first day of the company, when we first started our management, we knew we have to make a difference. We had to, we have to make a difference in people's life. We have to make difference in our employees' life. We have to change that mindset that this is not a nine to five job where you work for certain hours and take your salary slip and go back home. Deepika's devotion to her family and to her work is phenomenal. Her out-of-the-box approach and her fresh ideas have transformed the company's marketing department. And, and I'm doing marketing not as a profession. I'm doing it as my sharing a vision, sharing a motherly instinct and sharing what, my, what brought me here. All those things all together, bundled together is what I'm presenting to people in my marketing. Deepika and Swapnil's success story in the USA indicates the immense contributions of the Indian community in the American ecosystem. Such is the impact of this tiny community in the country that it is even difficult to imagine the USA that we all know without Indian immigrants and their contributions. In 2016, among all immigrants in the USA, India was the leading country of origin with 14 founders of billion-dollar companies. It was revealed that 15% of startups in Silicon Valley were founded by Indians, even though they formed just 6% of the Valley's working population. Indians alone founded more startups than the next four countries combined, which were China, Japan, Britain and Taiwan. For Indian immigrants in the USA, it is not only about business and success. In philanthropic work, they are also keen to leave their mark. Swapnil's non-profit initiative, Karya Cares Foundation, has been set up to provide education and improve lives in the USA and in India. During various crisis moments, their company has supported the community. During a Harvey crisis, uh, property management like Karya has been really helpful in a sense that they don't really focus on uh, uh, Money-wise, they just uh, stand up and help the people, uh, helping one each other, uh, becoming a stronger company. Uh, in order for you to help somebody else, you have to become strong. 
So that's what what uh, Cadia has uh, has become uh, and a stronger company. Even though we were like a, a five years old company, we I think we we did a pretty good job on that, uh, helping the tenants, making sure they have the basic uh, amenities like uh, water, uh, electricity. Uh, at that time, it was really hard to to have it since uh, pretty much whole Houston was flooded. So they stand up and say, hey, we are here to help you guys. Uh, you are not alone. And it does feel good actually to have somebody next to you when, when you're facing those kind of crises. With $125 billion in damage, Hurricane Harvey of 2017 is one of the costiest tropical cyclones on record. We were fortunate enough that we could help people at that time. And it is, it, it is again our upbringing. We, we gave, we, we did our best. We opened our apartments to so many people. We gave them supplies for months. We gave children uh, uh, their uh, diapers and all those, uh, even books and school bags at that time. It is important to point out that it was not only tenants who are being helped. The doors were also open for the new people whose houses were flooded. Educating the residents on preventive health care is another important aspect. There was an Egyptian migrant who barely could speak a word of English. Um, we, I, uh, we did a survey in our, con in, uh, in our little apartment complex and we said, no, people here need translators. If I, if I want to do breast cancer awareness program, I need translators. Fortunately, I got Arabic and Egyptian translators also. We did that event and it was only two hours long talk with the doctors and nurses about breast cancer awareness and what they, what forms they can fill to enroll themselves for breast women health checkup. Um, right after that uh, two hours of talk, this lady gave me a big hug and I was just giving out the flyers, okay, if you need something, come back to me, I will help you in filling out the form. I will tell you which doctor to go and all that. She gave me a big hug. She said, I am 40 years old. My society is so conservative. I never stepped out of my house. Yes, it is true that these efforts are a real blessing for residents who are unable to leave their homes for a health checkup. Benefits are not limited to residents. Even employees have access to many unique opportunities. So Karya Care is the giving part of Karya, and all our employees will be given training and prof professionally if they want some professional diplomas or trainings, and if they want higher education, if they want to complete their degrees, we will help them, we will assist their, uh, in their fees. Uh, we will also initiate and give some scholarships. We are already giving scholarships to in high school students, uh, for high school students. I, I think I'm giving back for selfish reasons. Uh, I would like to say that, you know, giving back is, uh, is great, that, you know, you feel fulfilled. But yes, I feel fulfilled. But I think the reason I fulfilled is when I give somebody something, I feel happy inside. So I'm giving back to society for my personal selfish happiness. Uh, and what I've also realized is the more I give, the more God gives me back. So it's again selfish reasons for me that if I give more, I'm going to get more back. Those are my reasons and I, f I truly believe in it. India's rich culture and its spiritual foundational wisdom are its most important assets. It is the land which has given birth to pro-environment ancient traditions like Aparigraha. In America, Swapnil and his wife live an extravagant lifestyle. Should we sense a contradiction? We, we take care of our employees, our residents. You know, we provide free English classes. We give free meals to every kid in our community. Uh, free swimming classes, free health checkups with the top doctors of town. So we are really doing a lot to give back to the community. But at the same time, if I'm working so hard, I'm taking care of everybody, I need to have motivation in my personal life also. 
to why am I doing this? Yeah, sure, I would like to give back to communities, to society in India, in America, truly take, take care of everybody as a family. But in, for me, I like to wear nice clothes. I like to drive nice cars. I like to live in a nice house. But that's not uh, to show off to anyone. That's for my personal satisfaction because growing up, I could not afford any of it. For the first eight years in America, I used to take number two Metro bus. I had the picture of that bus I used to take every day. I couldn't afford to buy a car. I still have it in my office. And so I, because I could not afford to buy a car for the first eight years in America, I want to drive the nicest car possible. You know, I lived in a very, very humble, uh, you know, one bedroom apartment with very poor living conditions. So I want to live in a house that's, that's nice so I can provide for my family. You know, I want to travel in business class because I, till age 15, I did not even travel in an airplane. You know, I had never seen an airplane. So, you know, those are the things I'm doing it for my own personal satisfaction. But it is very true when people say, those are materialistic things. Once you have it, you will lose the charm of it within a within few minutes. And that I can tell you with personal experience, it is very true. You will have the dream of doing those things. And to our outside society and external world, yes, they might seem, wow, Sopnil has everything. But once, I, once you have it, once you attain it, within five minutes, the charm is gone. And I'm personally you know, witness to that because I have those things. Within five minutes, I forget about it. So I know that. I know those are materialistic things and I will lose the charm, yet I want it as a motivation for my hard work. So that's the philosophy I have in life. And uh, whether it's wrong or right, it works for me so far. Hopefully in five, ten years, I'm much more wise and much more mature that I'm living in much more simple conditions than I am today. And I'm able to, to preach that philosophy at that time. His company's expansion has resulted in increased job opportunities in India as well. A couple of years ago, they decided to build their own property management software, ARIA 1.0, which is expected to be a game changer in the industry. In this landmark development, India's IT power came in handy. Indian minds are so, you know, they're on another level. You know, we hired, uh, you know, about 10 employees in the accounting field. We have somebody in the finance field. We have a whole team in Gurgaon that's working on a property management software that we are building. An aspect that I personally find very interesting in the Agrawal family is the confidence they have in their roots. America could not Americanize them. Their pride in their heritage remains strong. Yes. Being authentic is being considered cool again. Being in, being in America, living in America as Indians, it is our job to, to change people's opinion or to actually educate them about what India is all about, what Indian people is all about. And I think slowly that change is coming. Uh, and we have to stay authentic to our roots. You know, being, wearing our own clothes, speaking our own language, it's cool. It's, it's, uh, it's the way that it should be done. A responsible father at home and a successful businessman, Swapnil has won many hearts during his journey. Today, Swapnil owns those buildings where he once distributed pizza flyers. For someone like myself, who is an immigrant to this country, uh, that we employ over 500 Americans in our company today. And uh, at this young age, uh, I feel very fortunate that, I, that God has given me this platform to be able to give back to the community. Uh, you know, I, there was a time where uh, it was difficult for me to find a job here in this country. I came as a 15 year old. My first job was to pass out pizza flyers. I couldn't get a job anywhere else. And now it feels amazing that we have over 530 employees that are in construction, property management, engineers, financial analysts, asset managers, accounting, marketing. I mean, you name the field, we have, we have 10 different divisions that employ so many people here. The legacy will be passed on to their young son, who is already showing great signs of maturity at such a young age. I want to give him roots and wings. I want to give him roots from India and wings from land of opportunity that is America. Because if he stays with its roots, wherever he will go, he will always know where to come back.
Deepika may have left India, but India has not left her. This reflects very well in the way their son is being raised. Their American home has Indian vibrations. In our uh, marriage, uh, when you get married in Hindu custom, they, they at the end, after all the seven feras, they say, Shiv bina shakti adhuri, shakti bina shiv adhuri. I want to make a big difference uh, to not only the society here, but in India as well. Uh, and I think now going forward, you know, this is again still a very, uh, it's a, still a journey that has just started. I'm still relatively quite young. I think we want to accomplish a lot more. We want to make a lot of difference in this society for the better. Every day brings new challenges and new opportunities. It's exciting because every day there's new ideas and new things that come with this company. It's so it's growing so well and there's so many different things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm glad to be a part of Caria. Residents feel that they are living in class A properties. Employees do not want to leave the job and investors are getting good returns on their investments. My engagement with Swapin and his family has made one thing patently clear. If you want to earn respect from others, start respecting your identity and your heritage first. Swapnil Agrawal has generated employment in the USA and in India. He has generated a lot of goodwill and he has successfully created communities at his properties. The traditional Indian way, but with an American touch. Swapnil is a walking testimony of a success story. He has provided the community with everything that he did not have while living and growing up in the USA. Yes, good intentions can also bring good profits. See you again.